but this game means a lot more. The winner of this game goes to the sectional final. They will play to go to state Saturday night at DC Everest against the winner of Bonduel and Ocanto. So two Eastern teams will have to come to the city of Wausau to play for the chance to go to state. The winner of the sectional final Saturday will play in the Thursday evening game down in Madison at the Kohl Center. Marathon comes in with a very, very impressive resume. 25-1 on the season. 16-0, of course, in the Merriwood. They ran the table. They have won 13 straight games, all by double digits. In fact, out of the 25 games that Marathon has won this year, 24 of them have been by double digits. Just an incredible season by the Marathon Red Raiders. Auburndale has also had a season to remember. 22 wins, 22 and four. 13 and three in conference this year. Two of those losses were to Marathon. One was to Stratford late in the season that actually clinched the conference for Marathon. Auburndale led on the court by Caden Anderson and Caden Weinfurter. Two players that do a little bit different things. I'd say Caden Weinfurter, one of the outside threats in the Burnwood South. Tall kid. Doesn't really draw Grant Warren the first couple times that these teams have played, but probably see him a little bit on him tonight. And then the Marathon Red Raiders, of course, led by Grant Warren, the Garantula, the back-to-back -back Merrillwood South Player of the Year. And this Marathon team is stacked. Auburndale, not too shabby either. We are just about ready for the anthem. There's a lot of build up to this one. This gym is packed. You can see on the camera, we have our camera up about as high as it goes, trying to see over everybody standing up. Again, we're at Merrill High School, a really nice gym. Um, before last week, we did a girls sectional semifinal here. It was Athens against Pittsville. Prior to that, hadn't been here since high school. Ooh, Saturday afternoon game at DC Everest. That's good. We're just about ready for the national anthem. Do you want to take a break, Trevor? All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with the starting lineups after this on Zaleski Sports. Access Insurance is your complete independent insurance agency for auto. Access Insurance is your complete independent insurance agency for auto, home, business, and life insurance serving Wisconsin and Minnesota. Insurance can often be confusing and frustrating, but with Access Insurance you get experienced advisors that pair you with exactly the coverage you need at the most competitive prices for every stage of life. Located in Weston and a proud supporter of area high school athletics, their business truly does revolve around you. Learn more at accessinsurance.net or by calling The fantastic Dan Lau on the camera, the slow, the slow pan of, of the court, love it. Yeah, there are a lot of people here tonight. Everybody wanting a fantastic game. I think we're going to get one. Starting with Marathon. Marathon is going to wear the road jerseys tonight. 
even though they are the better seed at sectionals, it's considered a neutral site game. And they go alphabetically this year. So Cooper Huxima, Marathon has the same five as they usually do. Cooper Huxima, True Thurs. Number 10, Drew Wolfel. Number 14, Tyler Underwood. And number 33, Grant Warren. Warren, again, the back-to-back -back player of the year in the Merwood South, two years running. 22 and a half points, 12 and a half rebounds, more than three assists, almost three blocks a game. The last time that Marathon played Auburndale, Grant Warren set the school record with 43 points in that one. For the Auburndale Eagles, number five, seven point a game score, it's Blake Rabb. Number 10, Caden Anderson, all around player, really good ball player, one of the best in the conference. 23, Evan Scholl. Number 30, Thomas Awi. And number 35, Caden Weinfurter. These teams know a lot about each other, but I am willing to bet that Auburndale has learned quite a bit. Coach Weinfurter on Auburndale sideline has something special cooked up for the Marathon Red Raiders tonight. Every year since the COVID break, the Marathon Red Raiders have lost to a Merrillwood South team to end their season. They have a chance at redemption tonight and we are underway and the Marathon Red Raiders win the opening tip. Auburndale comes out on a 1-2-2. Two, two. So that's something a little bit different. Auburndale's going to want to slow this team down. Underwood into the paint. Colby played zone for the entire game, all 36 minutes in the second round. And really stymied Marathon. Underwood into the paint, layup, good! And Underwood gives the Red Raiders the lead. We have a quick timeout. Someone shoot gun on tight in one possession. One possession, one basket for Marathon. Going over the field goal percentages for the Red Raiders this year, they get to the rim a lot. As a team, shoot almost 50% from the floor. It's absolutely incredible, honestly. Here's Rab in the near side wing. Touched by Awi. Working on Warren. Marathon man-to-man -man as usual. Going baseline, Underwood defending. Awi over Warren for two. Both teams successful in their first time down. Huxima looking inside. Thurs in the corner, skip pass, Huxima. College three, short, no good. Second chance opportunity, Wolfold to the basket for a layup. Second chance opportunity for the Red Raiders. It's a 4-2 game. Both, <coughs> both fan bases, the student sections are in full force tonight. In some trouble, have to get rid of it. Now it's Weinfurter out by the beautiful Blue Jay logo here at Merrill High School. Inside touch, layup good. Scholl with his first two. You can see that Marathon double team, somebody had to be open. Tied at four, early on. Teams haven't played, of course, since last Saturday, so it's been a little bit. That time between regionals and sectionals, a lot of nerves. Thurs puts the ball on the floor, skip pass, Huxima. Now top of the key, being very patient against the zone here. Warren has not touched the ball yet. Skip pass, Thurs in the near side. Back outside, this is gonna be Wolfel for three, no good. Weinfurter with the rebound. Gets the ball off to Scholl. Tied at four, 15-15 left in the first half. Two, 
Awi pulling Warren away from the basket. To Weinfurter, tried to block the shot, didn't happen. Outside, second chance for Tooney. Scholl short, no good. We have a first foul of the game. This looks like it is going to be on Caden Anderson, and it is his first. A lot of energy in the gym tonight. There's no doubt about it. Both of these fan bases came ready to be loud. Thurs drives baseline. Outside, Huxima, top of the key now, Warren. Wolfel, back outside. Huxima picked up his dribble at the short corner. Top of the key to Underwood. Here's a three from the outside by Thurs, no good. It's gonna be a foul on Auburndale. It looks like it's gonna be Caden Anderson's second foul. No, it's gonna be on Marathon. Okay, so that foul's gonna be on Underwood, his first. Kind of a 50-50 ball. Marathon showing some full court pressure here. It's just man, straight man, everyone clears out. Tied at four. Anderson drives baseline, creates some, a little bit of space. Warren touches the ball for the first time tonight on that rebound. Marathon trying to set up his own offense. That's a foul on the drive. That's gonna be no shot. It's gonna be baseline out of bounds. That falls on Rab, his first. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be on Rab, his first. And they actually called that a shooting foul. That's pretty interesting. Didn't look like he was in the motion of shooting when he got fouled, but the officials gave it to him. So the first free throws of the night, Underwood, 80% free throw shooter, hits the first. Marathon Family Dentistry is Marathon's go-to for premier dental care. You'll have peace of mind knowing their passion is making a pleasant dental experience for each patient. Visit Marathon Family Dentistry for all your dental needs or visit MarathonFamilyDentistry.com. Taylor Underwood gives Marathon a two-point lead. 13.45 left in the first half. Tight game so far. Awi hands off to Scholl. Now this is Rab. Working on Wolfold, dribbles it back outside. Try to spread out the offense a little bit. Off the screen, Scholl. Awi, no good, missed it short. Underwood across the timeline. Skip pass, Huxima. Auburndale defense doing a great job keeping the ball out of Grant Warren's hands. Again, last time they played, Warren had 43 against the, against the Eagles. Has not touched on the offensive end yet, double teamed at all times. Wolfel will try a three. Back iron, no good. Anderson with the rebound. Oh, near steal by Hoeksema. It's gonna get called for the foul. Got a, too much of the body on it. Family Vision Center in Marathon provides quality eye care for you and your family. From medical eye care and routine eye exams to high quality glasses or contact lens needs, you're in the right hands with Family Vision Center in Marathon and Wittenberg. Andrew Glennon in the game. First sub of the night. Howie, fade away, no good. Glennon with the rebound. Auburn Deal doing a good job keeping Marathon out of transition, trying to slow the game down. When the Marathon offense gets going, it's really tough to stop. Warren's first shot, no good. Put back good. First two of the night for the Garantula, 8-4 Marathon. 12 minutes left in the first half. Auburndale ended Marathon season last year. Marathon had a double digit lead at the half and Auburndale came roaring back. They ended up getting nipped in the sectional final last year.
Grab at the free throw line. Hands it off to Aoi. Aoi picks up his dribble. Knocked away. Warren with the steal. Hooks him across the timeline. Hits the runner. Underwood outside Thurs. 50% three-point shooter. That one's no good. Gets his own rebound to the basket. He's fouled and he'll shoot a pair. Outside shots are not coming easy for Marathon here in the first half. That foul was on Scholl, his first. First free throw missed it well short. At Marathon City Sports Center, you'll always find great food, cold drinks, bowling leagues, and a great place for your next party or get together. For the best in marathon dinner or get togethers, come to Marathon City Sports Center, South Highway 107 in Marathon. Thurs missed both free throws. Not a very good free throw shooter, truth be told. But a 60% free throw shooter, 50% three point shooter. Kind of bucks, bucks the trend there, as you would say. Marathon double teaming the short corner. Nice help by Warren underneath. Fresh in the game, Meisner, number four. Weinfurter hands off to Scholl. Scholl working on Underwood. Meisner has it again. Hand off to Weinfurter. Three rolling to his right. No good. Underwood with the rebound. Maybe settled a little bit that time. Glennon. Glennon's going to try his first three of the night. Just barely missed it short. Fight for the rebound. Comes down to Weinfurter. Quickly up ahead. Here's Anderson. Anderson picks up his dribble. Going to settle things down a little bit. 8-4 Red Raiders. 10-10 left to play in the first half. Weinfurter, long three, no good. Feel like he wants one to go down and he's got to get one to go down. Auburndale extending the zone a little bit. Thurs in the corner. Anderson did a really good job getting on the shooter that time. Huxamo will try a three, he missed that one. Grab with the rebound. Cold shooting start for both teams from the outside. Last Thursday at the sectional semifinal, those teams started terrible from the outside and heated up as we went down. Anderson all the way to the basket for his first two. Eight, six. Have a 30 second timeout. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more sectional basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. Sign Forge and Marathon is your specialist in high quality and cost effective signage projects. They can design your sign, then forge and install it correctly, then maintain it throughout the years. They provide a variety of services and products pylons, monuments, wall signs, directionals, banners, decals, crane services vehicle and trailer graphics, interior signs, lob lights, and much more. From start to finish, SignForge is your signage partner. Learn more at SignForgeLLC.com. Welcome back. Sectional semifinal basketball. Marathon leads Auburndale 8-6. Marathon Family Dentistry is Marathon's go-to for premier dental care. You'll have peace of mind knowing their passion is making a pleasant dental experience for each patient. Visit Marathon Family Dentistry for all your dental needs or visit MarathonFamilyDentistry.com. That timeout was credited to Coach Jacobson, wanted 30 seconds to talk, talk to his troops. They have not tried to go high-low out of the zone yet. We have a foul away from the ball. It's like a hold on Grant Warren. That falls on Meisner, his first. Team's fourth. So a baseline out of bounds. Warren to initiate it. See Warren trying to call for the ball underneath. <coughs> Warren gets a touch this time. Draws a crowd. Finds Underwood. Underwood into in the paint. Looks like he got hit in the head. They call the foul. And they're going to call that on Aoi, his first. 
I mean, it looked like his head cocked to the side as he went on the lane. I don't know if he would do that otherwise. Underwood already 2-2 two two at the line. First free throw is good. <laughs> Pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pet's everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. Underwood makes both free throws. The 80% free throw shooter starts the game 4-4, matches Marathon's biggest lead so far at four. It's 10-6. A low scoring game to start. The teams are still trying to get used to the neutral site. Different gym, different rims, different backdrops. And the pressure of playing in the sectional semifinals. We expected a tight one. Came in saying that Marathon won the first two games by 21. There's no way that that was gonna be the case this time. Just gut feeling tells you that it just seems unlikely. Underwood back in the game, gonna give Warren a little bit of a breather. So let's see if, if Auburndale tries to attack the basket with Warren out of the game. This is about the time of the game where Warren gets a little bit of a break. See the younger Weinfurter in the game, Peyton, his first, first time in the game. Owie hands it off to Caden Weinfurter. Owie to the basket. Warren goes to the bench and they attack the basket immediately. 10-8 marathon. Couple of fresh faces. We see Cody Radke in the game. Underwood had, had the beat out of bounds. He had the right idea, but the ball was just tipped or thrown behind True Thurs, who was cutting to the basket. That's a turnover. <coughs> ball back to Auburndale. Under eight to play in the first half. A little bit of a trap. The defense clears away. Scholl across the timeline. Weinfurter out by the Blue Jay. Stretching out the defense a little bit. Here's Caden Anderson. Anderson underneath the basket. Tries to reverse layup. Blocked by Wolfel. Wolfel struggled a little bit the first couple of games of, of the regional. Playing a good one here so far. Radke. Picks up his dribble back outside Wolfel. You see, without Warren in the game, just a little bit different. Offensive foul is going to be called on True Thurs. It'll be his first. Pushed with the offhand. Ball goes back to Auburndale. Seven eleven, left to play in the first half. 10-8 marathon. The winner plays Saturday against the winner of Bonduel and Ocanto. Try to have an update for you at halftime of what that looks like. Anderson, extra pass to Aoi for two. Aoi has six, We're tied at 10. Pass to Warren underneath, he missed the bunny. It looked like he tried to dunk it and then changed his mind at the last second. And then got behind. Weinfurter to Weinfurter, the younger Weinfurter from the corner, three is good! <laughs> Auburndale hits the first three of the game. And they have a three point lead, 13-10. Underwood in the short corner. Back outside Warren. Extra pass, Wolfel. 
Now reverses it. Here's a three for the tie. Back iron, no good. Weinfurter with the rebound. Cold shooting from the outside for the Red Raiders here in the first half. Auburndale with the ball up by three. Weinfurter tries the three. He buried it. Six point lead. Weinfurter's first triple of the game. And a timeout for the Marathon Red Raiders. We'll be back with Four. more sectional final or sectional semifinal action after this. For communities to live. Country Corner Mart. The friendly staff at Switz Country Corner Mart in Blenker serves up a large selection of food made to order daily. Like fish fries, chicken dinners, and awesome pizzas. Drive in today on County Road P just off Highway 10 in Blenker. Family owned and operated for more than 100 years. Sounds delicious. Marathon trails by six. Hooks him up. Penetrates the defense. Now this is Underwood. Spin in the lane, back outside. Bad pass, stolen away. Thurs threw it away to Aoi. The zone is giving Marathon problems tonight. Reb hands off to Weinfurter for a nine point lead. Looked like it was gonna go. Rebound down to Marathon. I feel like Marathon is having a really hard time even looking inside. Underwood, outside, this is Thurs. That's a long two, that's not a great shot, short. Scholl with the rebound, brings it up the floor. Awi outside, bad pass. This was the uh, younger Weinfurter. Peyton for three. Doesn't get a lot of playing time this year. He has a good looking shot. A Weinfurter of the future. Brother Caden, a senior this year. I assume brothers, I shouldn't assume things like that. Underwood from the free throw line, good. It ends the run. Underwood has eight of Marathon's 12 so far. Four, Auburndale with a four point lead. Still in the first half. But if you're Coach Weinfurter, you like where you're at right now. Have a travel. Must have dragged the pivot foot a little bit. For all your plumbing, septic, water, sewer, and well needs, there's always one great place to turn, Marathon Plumbing Service. Whether it's your home or business, their expert staff will get the problem resolved quickly so you can get back to what matters most. For all your plumbing needs, look to Marathon Plumbing Service, where service is in their name. Marathon trailing by four. Marathon has not made a three at this game. They've tried plenty. Lennon's gonna try another one. Around the rim, no good, Underwood. Fighting for the ball, it's gonna be a held ball, it's gonna go to Auburndale. Underwood did everything that he possibly could. Missed time to jump, the way that the ball bounced off the rim right at the end. The ball kinda came down on him, so it wasn't a travel when he fell, because he didn't get the ball entirely until he was on the ground. Auburndale did a great job of tying him up right away. So a four-point lead for the Eagles with the ball. Scholl working on thirds. Always get past to Rab. Rab three, good! And he keeps the three fingers high in the air down the court. Biggest lead of the night for Auburndale. It's seven, 19-12. Auburndale fans are living it up here in the first half. Here's the inside touch to Warren, fall and one. Your little, this is the last Rab three. Good looking shot, didn't close out quick enough. Rab not a, not a, tall, not a tall player. You still gotta close out on him. 
That second falls on Kaden Anderson. That might prove to be something as we go further into this game if he picks up his third. Warren free throw is good. 2.36 to play. Marathon pulls to within five. Low scoring first half, 19-15. Just the way that Auburndale wants this one to play out. Meissner back in the game. The ball's in Weinfurter's hands. Picks up his dribble. Tough pass. Rab does have it. Weinfurter gets the ball stripped away on the way up. Scholl gets what I guess would be the rebound. Awi, backdoor pass to Scholl. Nice pass, nice cut. Marathon lost the defender. The lead's back to six. Have a foul away from the ball. That's on Meisner, his second. But it is going to be bonus free throws here for Warren. Make sure I have all the reads done. Special thank you to all of our marathon sponsors this year. Brickner Motors of Little Chicago. Marathon Plumbing Service. Rib River Ballroom, AH Machine, Three Amigos Mexican Restaurant, Marathon Flooring, Marathon Cheese, Mark's Chiropractic, Heart City Auto, Copper Mug, People's State Bank, Family Vision Center, Keith Paul Insurance, Sign Forge, Access Insurance, and Underwood Construction. They have sponsored every marathon basketball game this year, boys and girls, and we've had a lot of them. They're the reason why we were able to do it this year. Underwood. With the ball 25 feet from the basket. Inside cut, Warren. Blocked by Weinfurter. Gets his own rebound. Put back good. <laughs> Auburndale is making Warren work. There's no doubt about it. The lead is down to four. A minute left in the first half. Rab throws it away. He thought someone was cutting. Underwood across the timeline. Trailing by four. Huxima thinks about the three. He'll take it this time from the wing. Missed it short. Ball's loose. Rebound comes down to Aiden Cherney. Let's see if Auburndale holds for one. 34 seconds to play. Four point game. But the shots are going to eventually start falling for Marathon. And they probably will in bunches, just trying to stay within reach. Scholl has Thurs on him, picks up his dribble, gets out to Weinfurter, six on the clock. Spin, nice find to Aoi underneath for two. Clock says three, two, one, Thurs from beyond half court. He did it! What a shot! From beyond half court. They look good the whole way. Little replay from beyond half court, from beyond the Blue Jay. Swish, good the entire way. That ball went through the net with about three seconds to play. They got the ball inbounds quickly. They got it up, and maybe that's a little bit of momentum changer as we go into halftime and then into the second half. Stay tuned for the Brickner Motors of Little Chicago Halftime Show. Brickner Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, and Jeep. When you need a new vehicle, let their family take care of yours on Little Chicago's northeast side. Two Thurs makes the first three of the night for Marathon from beyond half court. More after this on Zaleski Sports. Here at Brickner Motors in Little Chicago, we'll help you order your brand new Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, or Jeep and get it equipped the way you want it and the color you've always dreamed of. Whether you choose from our in-stock selection or order factory fresh, quality vehicles and competitive prices are what keep people coming back again and again. Make the drive out to Brickner Motors on Little Chicago's northeast side and let our family take care of your family. You can count on us.
If you're looking for a local builder you can trust for your next home project, you found them in Underwood Construction with decades of experience in building homes, replacing siding, decks, garages, and roofs. There is no home project they can't help with. Underwood Construction is a fully insured builder covering all of central Wisconsin. No matter your next project, if you need someone you can trust to do it right at a great price, call Underwood Construction at 715-573-5754. When you need automotive repairs or parts, you know right where you're headed. Parts City Auto Parts in Marathon has everything you could need to keep your vehicle on the road and looking great. Whether you're looking for replacement parts, better performance, or auto accessories, it's all right here under one roof at Parts City Auto Parts. Jump online and head to PartsCityAuto.com and you can search for just what you need or you can stop in person on Pine Street, just off Main Street in Marathon. Too many people struggle with pain and injuries. At Mark's Chiropractic of Marathon, our goal is to get you back to doing the things you love. Whether you're looking for an adjustment, muscle work, laser therapy, or dry needling, we have you covered. Learn more by reaching out to Mark's Chiropractic on Main Street in Marathon or check out our website at marathonchiropractor.com. Whether you're home or business, Marathon Plumbing Service is ready to help you with your next plumbing, septic system, water system, excavating, or trucking need. From the regular, everyday plumbing issues like leaky pipes or new installations to those more urgent situations like a failing septic system, you can always be assured the experts at Marathon Plumbing Service will get the job done right. In Marathon, Edgar, Wausau, Stratford, Athens, Marshfield, Medford, Abbotsford, Colby, and more, let Marathon Plumbing Service help you with your next project. Marathon Plumbing Service, where service is in their name. At Greater Insurance Service, you're more than just a number. You're an individual with unique needs, and that calls for an insurance policy that's unique to you. Call today for more information on auto, home, health, business, and much more. Let Greater Insurance Service work for you. All right, welcome back to Merrill High School. I'm trying to trying to get some scores for everybody. Can't say here in Merrill, Auburndale leads 23-20. Marathon has not shot the ball well. They had not been able to do much against the Auburndale zone. They've thrown a lot of things at Marathon. They've shown a little box and one, it looks like at times. A two, three, kind of a matchup, a lot really preventing Grant Warren from getting a lot of touches inside after Warren trounced him for 43 just two weeks ago. We, I can say that Bonduel leads Oconto 32-24 Oconto at half. Almond, Trevor Zaleski here right now all the scores, I love it. Almond Bancroft, 26-17 over Three Lakes. Blue Jays there. Columbus 22, Royal 20, that's a close game. Spash 26, Nina 23. In a similar vein, Marshfield 38, Kakana 37. So the two Valley schools lead by just a couple at the half. River Falls 25, Wasa East 22. Nothing too surprising in all that, honestly. The biggest surprise maybe might be here in Merrill where Auburndale leads 23-20. Let's take a look at scores for the Marathon Red Raiders. Eight points from Tyler Underwood. He's had a pretty good half. A couple turnovers. Eight points. Four for four at the free throw line. He's done a good job from there. Seven points for Grant Warren. One of two at the free throw line. Bunch of rebounds. Three points by True Thurs. He actually hit that from beyond the, the Blue Jay at half court. Uh, definitely go back, go back a little bit if, if you missed it. It was the only three-pointer made by the Marathon Red Raiders in the first half. It was True Thurs from just beyond the uh, tail feather, the, the feather on the Blue Jays' head from beyond half court. 
Two points apiece for Drew Wolfel. Actually, two points from Drew Wolfel. Marathon shot five of eight at the line for their 20 points. Scoring has been at a premium for Marathon so far tonight. Auburndale, knew that Auburndale was gonna come in, knew that, that they were gonna play some zone. They're gonna throw a lot of things at Marathon, try to confuse them. Also saw that, that Colby gave Marathon a whole lot of fits back last Friday in the regional semifinal and seeing a similar result here. Colby came back from 21 down at the half against Marathon and cut that game to three with about three minutes left before Marathon ended up winning going away. Auburndale's in great position here with just about three minutes left to play or three minutes until the second half kicks off. See Marathon runs out and they want to get some shots up because they're not shooting it well right now. Here's the replay of the true thurs from the back volleyball line. That might be the longest high school shot that I've seen since I've started covering Zaleski sports. When I was in high school, a regional final, we had our backup center who was playing. He got a rebound at the end of the third quarter because we played quarters back then. That's how long ago it was since I played basketball. And he made it from the opposite free throw line. He threw it one-handed and just walked to the bench. He didn't even watch it go in. And the place went nuts. It was at the end of the third quarter, we were up 12, made it 15, which when you're playing quarters, you're up 15 going into the fourth quarter. Like, it's pretty much over. And, and we all rush out and, like, mob him, and he doesn't know what happened. And then he was talking about how that's his first three-pointer that he's ever made in his life in a game. It was from about 65 feet away. For Auburndale, big half for Thomas Awe. Awe had eight points, um, all of them inside. Actually, a couple jumpers. He's had a really good half. Uh, probably the best half that I've seen him play so far. Three pointers for Blake Rabb and Peyton Weinfurter. Uh, easy there, Trevor. Trevor almost knocked everything we have over. We, we almost lost everything. We saved it though. Caden Weinfurter had three points. Two points for Caden Anderson. So again, Peyton Weinfurter three, Caden Weinfurter three, Blake Rabb three, Caden Anderson two, Evan Scholl, four, Thomas Aoi, eight, 23-20, no free throws. No free throws shot in the first half by Auburndale. Nobody really in foul trouble. Auburndale does have Meisner and Kaden Anderson with two fouls. Marathon only had three team fouls, nobody with more than one. We are 50 seconds away from starting here in the second half. We will keep it here. You won't say. Listen to the band and see how the uh, how the long shot by Thurs fires up this marathon team in the second half. 18 minutes to play. The winner plays at DC Everest at two o'clock on Saturday afternoon, likely to play the Bonduel Bears. Bonduel, they lost their first game of the year and they've won them all since. I think they're 26 and one, I think they won 25 or 26 in a row. Just quite the run. That is the buzzer starting the second half. So, Auburndale looks like they are set in a two three zone. It's gonna be a marathon ball to start, trailing by three. Same starting five both ways. Huxima is going to inbound. Tossing in to Thurs. Where he caught it, that's closer than when the last shot he made. We're underway, second half. Marathon trails by three. Top of the key. Wolfel, short corner to Underwood. Trying to find Warren. Gonna reverse it. Coming back the other way. Foul underneath. That falls on Kaden Anderson. Quickly picks up his third. The officials are letting a lot go, but you can't hold on to players as, as they're trying to traverse. That time trying 
offense trying to get to the short corner and just held him in place, try to prevent him from running. Wide open three, missed it short. Show with the rebound. Huxima didn't have his legs underneath him that time. Marathon stays in man. Rab into the paint, sees Warren, decides to get out of there. Hand off to Weinfurter. Auburndale came in wanting to slow the pace down, wanting to grind this game out. Feel like if they win, this game's gonna be in the 40s or maybe the 50s. And they are on pace for that. This game gets in the 60s, Marathon's probably gonna come away with this. Off the screen, Scholl working on Underwood, picks up his dribble. Outside, Rab will shoot the three. And good, off the rim. Friendly roll, 26-20, Auburndale on top. Skip pass, Huxima. Auburndale's doing a good job keeping the Marathon guards out of the paint. Underwood will try a three, and he hit it! <laughs> Underwood's first three of the game. The lead is cut to three. Whoever comes away with this win will have earned it. There's no doubt about that. Weinfurter, a real long three, misses everything out of bounds to Marathon. You see the replay of Underwood's best shot of the night. Nothing but the bottom of the net. 16.04 left to play in the first, or actually in the game, barring overtime or something. Huxima touched to Warren. Warren, good pass to Wolf. He couldn't handle it though. Marathon retains possession. Warren will shoot the three from the outside. Rolls off the rim, no good. Weinfurter with the rebound. Oh, near steal by Underwood. Knocks it into the Auburndale bench. Warren, cross midcourt, hands off to Warren. Wide open, Wolfel will shoot the three. Won't count, foul away from the ball. Falls on Blake Rabb, his second. Marathon Family Dentistry is Marathon's go-to for premier dental care. You'll have peace of mind knowing their passion is making a pleasant dental experience for each patient. Visit Marathon Family Dentistry for all your dental needs or visit MarathonFamilyDentistry.com. Inside touch, Underwood, good. <laughs> Underwood has all five of Marathon's second half points. This is the closest that the Red Raiders have been in quite some time. 26-25, Auburndale with the lead. See the... Feel the momentum changing a little bit. And maybe it was that 50 foot shot just before halftime at, at the buzzer that maybe did it. Rab into the paint, no good. Looked like it was a little bit out of control. Numbers the other way for Marathon. Inside touch, Warren spins to the basket. He's fouled by Weinfurter. Weinfurter's first, but Grant is going to the line to shoot a pair to maybe give Marathon the lead. Special thank you to our Marathon sponsors, Brickner Motors of Little Chicago, Marathon Plumbing Service, Rib River Ballroom, AH Machine, Three Amigos Mexican Restaurant, Marathon Flooring, Marathon Cheese, Mark's Chiropractic, Parts City Auto, Copper Mug, People's State Bank, Family Vision Center, Keith Paul Insurance, Sign Forge, Access Insurance, and Underwood Construction. Warren makes the second of the two, ties the game up. Awi gonna come to the bench for the Eagles. 26 all, 14-10 left to play. The sectional semifinal.
Schultz get past the Rab. Rab missed it short. Foul. I think they're going to call it after the shot, maybe. This is going to be an interesting call. Yeah, it's going to be after. That's. I don't know if I've seen that before. Let's see who that falls on. They said it was on five, but Hipsch is not in the game. The announcer says it's on Wolfel, his first. It's hard to hear. It's hard to hear the PA at all. The fans are loud. I'm sure the microphones are picking it up. Weinfurter to the free throw line, spins, knocked on the head a little bit, finishes anyway. Weinfurter gives Auburndale a two point lead. Quickly up the floor, Wolfel, skip pass, Huxima, extra pass, Underwood. Hits the cutter, Wolfel ties it back up. Good cut to the basket, that's something that Marathon has not seen a lot of in the first half up till now. Tied at 28 once again. Weinfurter will try a three. Back iron, no good. Hit the rim twice. Underwood out in transition. Finds Huxima. True third steps into a three. Back iron, no good. Good box out by Caden Anderson. This place was radio exploded. That thing went in. Rab fakes the three. Drives into the paint. Hits it back outside. Meisner hands it off to... K Weinfurter. Scholl will try a three. Front iron, no good. Underwood with the rebound. Still tied. Underwood for the lead. He made it! Underwood. He has 16 of Marathon's 31. Marathon with their first lead of the half. And then a turnover by Scholl. Just feel the momentum shifting in this gym right now. Little surprised that Coach Weinfurter didn't take a timeout there just to calm everything down, but he's got five timeouts left. You'll probably see one if Marathon scores. Thurs for three. Bottom! There's the timeout by Coach Weinfurter. Marathon on a run, leading by six. More sectional basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. You should apply for an open opportunity at Marathon Cheese. It's where you want to start your career. We have a lot of long-term commitment employees. They work with you and it's great pay, great benefits. I choose to stay at Marathon Cheese because there's always an opportunity. To Marathon Cheese has worked really great for me and my family. They donate money to different charities and different things that um, bring the community up. There's an opportunity to grow in this company. Working here at Marathon Cheese has given me a great work-life balance. I wouldn't work anywhere else. I love working at Marathon Cheese. Family Vision Center in Marathon provides quality eye care for you and your family. From medical eye care and routine eye exams to high quality glasses or contact lens needs, you're in the right hands with Family Vision Center in Marathon and Wittenberg. Marathon shows a little bit of a full court press. 11.50 left to play, Marathon leads by six. Meisner with the ball. Has Warren on him, Warren has to come out and guard him a little bit. Anderson, extra pass, grabbed it, decided not to shoot it. Meisner puts the ball on the floor. Here's Anderson, Anderson blocked from behind by Warren. Looked like Anderson got away with a little bit of a push. Wolfel underneath, and two. Marathon on a 10-0 run. 36-28, their biggest lead of the game is eight. Rab hands off to Caden Anderson. Bad pass, another turnover. Coach Jacobson screaming at his guys, urging him on. Peyton Weinfurter in the game, and Owie has to come back in. It hasn't been Grant Warren that has really hurt Auburndale tonight. It was a matter of time before Marathon started making shots. Eight-point lead.
Under 11 to play, still a lot of time. Wolfel, three from the corner, good! It's an 11 point Red Raider lead. Marathon has these streaks in them. Six, seven minutes of domination and big runs. And Auburndale's having to suffer through one right now. Anderson calms the crowd with a nice spin move. Nine point Marathon lead. Skip past the thirds. Underwood drives into the paint. Runner no good, out of bounds to Auburndale. Looked like a good call. At Marathon City Sports Center, you'll always find great food, cold drinks, bowling leagues, and a great place for your next party or get together. For the best in marathon dinner or get togethers, come to Marathon City Sports Center, South Highway 107 in Marathon. Grab for three, good, bottom of the net. Poked away from behind, quick hands. That's a turnover, Auburndale trying to counter. Trailing by six, fresh off a of rab three. Weinfurter. Touch, inside touch, Caden Anderson. Here's Aoi, Aoi over Warren, no good. Good looking shot. Nothing doing though. Underwood. Yeah, Warren is getting absolutely handled underneath. And the officials are doing everything that they can to make sure that, not to protect him, but but he is getting, like, literally hanging on him. Looks like it's going to be on Rab, his third. Quick hitter underneath, War Underwood for two. <laughs> Fell asleep a little bit. 18 for Tyler Underwood. The lead is up to eight. Anderson! Easy basket. No help defense that time. See, Marathon did a lot better when the tempo of this game really increased. Warren draws a crowd, puts the ball on the floor. Blocked by Aoi. Six point game, 8.38 left to play. We're into the fourth quarter. Aoi picks up his dribble. Needs to find someone outside to Rab. Weinfurter. To Scholl, Caden Weinfurter on the bench. Last rest before the home stretch here. Aoi dribbles, hands off to Rab. Rab, 14 footer, good. Off balanced. It's turned into a really nice ball player. Looks like we're gonna have a timeout. It's like a quick 30 second timeout. We'll be back with more Merrowood South basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. From carpeting options to vinyl plank, Marathon Flooring is a family-owned business focused on local service and values. They specialize in both home and commercial flooring, treating every project as its own unique style. Transform your home from the ground up with Marathon Flooring. Come see handcrafted gifts at the Copper Mug in Marathon. Find seasonal theme decorations, clothing, and gift options in our new lower level boutique. When you shop the Copper Mug, your business supports local artists, crafters, and families in our community. Marathon Family Dentistry is Marathon's go-to for premier dental care. You'll have peace of mind knowing their passion is making a pleasant dental experience for each patient. Visit Marathon Family Dentistry for all your dental needs or visit MarathonFamilyDentistry.com. Tyler Underwood buries another three out of the timeout. Having himself one of his best games of the season. It's a great time for it. Weinfurter trying to answer on the other end. Front iron no good. Warren with the rebound. Underwood's feeling it right now. He wants the ball. And Peyton Weinfurter kind of butt checked <laughs> Warren completely out of bounds. 
And why not? You know, try to be physical. He's a foot taller than you. Try to ch butt check him as he goes by. Warren has a foot and a half travel. A foot and a half on Peyton Weinfurter, at least. Shuffled his pivot foot back to Auburndale. Seven point game. A lot of time. A lot of time left. The story is definitely not over on this one. Scholl puts the ball on the floor into the paint. Over Underwood, missed it short. Weinfurter with the rebound. Gets outside, Rab. Good job making him have to pass it. But a three from Caden Anderson. Cuts the lead to four. Inside touch. Grant Warren for two. Great pass that time. Passed over the top. The lead is six. Somehow Warren has drawn Weinfurter on the outside. You have to switch. Rab, Weinfurter. To the other Weinfurter, Caden now in the corner. Looking inside. Here's a post touch. Caden Anderson working on Underwood. Backdoor cut. Blocked out of bounds by the Garantula. Got his claws on that one. Peyton Weinfurter comes out. I'll be back in the game. Baseline out of bounds. Weinfurter over the top. Scholl has it. Working on Thurs. Hand off to Aoi. Back outside, three, off the rim, no good. That should be a foul on Marathon, and there's no foul called. It looked like, looked like Huxima almost had a chokehold on Blake Rabb. And the officials were watching the ball. They didn't see the contact underneath. You know what? The Auburndale fans are not happy with that call, that no call. In the corner, Thurs finds Warren, turns and faces. He has Kaden Anderson on him. Wolfel. Yeah, I think if you're Marathon, you got to get, you got to get Tyler going to the going to the rim or set up for a three. Thurs three from the corner. Ooh, around the rim, no good. Felt like Auburndale kind of got away with one there. 5.37 left to play. Auburndale with the ball trailing by six. High ball screen. Weinfurter into the paint. He's fouled before he made his drive. Let's see who that's on. Looks like it's going to be on Thurs, his second. The friendly staff at Sweat's Country Corner Mart in Blanker serves up a large selection of food made to order daily, like fish fries, chicken dinners, and awesome pizzas. Drive in today on County Road P, just off Highway 10 in Blenker. Family owned and operated for more than 100 years. Aoi, working on Warren, picks up his dribble, turns in trouble, finds Rab cutting to the basket. I think if you're Warren there, you almost want to play off him and let him shoot a 14 footer if he wants to. Prove that he has that range. It's a four point game, Marathon needs to score. Huxima, Warren, Wolfel in the corner, skip past Thurs, top of the key, Underwood, good ball movement this time down by the Red Raiders. To the high post and out. Here's Underwood with Weinfurter on him, driving, spins back outside. Thurs trying to get the ball inside to Warren. Great defense. By the Eagles this time down. Underwood gets the roll. <laughs> Underwood flashing some muscle. 412 left to play in Marathon with a six-point lead. Underwood has put the Red Raiders on his back tonight. Here's Aoi. Aoi working on Warren. Jumper, no good. That's what I'm saying. Let him prove he can beat you out there. Otherwise, especially if he picks up his dribble, let him take that shot. 
If he beats you, he beats you. You know next time. Top of the key, Huxima, 345. The clock's starting to become a factor a little bit. Underwood, short corner, drives, fouled. He'll shoot two. At first, I was going to say Underwood. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to shoot. There's no, there's no clock. There's no shot clock here. But he's going to go to the line to shoot a pair where he is a good shooter. For all your plumbing, septic, water, sewer, and well needs, there's always one great place to turn: Marathon Plumbing Service. Whether it's your home or business, their expert staff will get the problem resolved quickly, so you can get back to what matters most. For all your plumbing needs. Look to Marathon Plumbing Service, where service is in their name. Tyler Underwood makes them both. Timeout, Marathon. Eight point lead, 340 left to play. More sectional basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. The Rib River Ballroom is the perfect place to hold your next big event. They have the space and the beautiful facility for your next banquets, corporate meetings, weddings, and more. Visit their Facebook page or go to ribriver.com for a list of their upcoming winter events. In addition to being the ideal location for your next occasion, Rib River Ballroom also offers an incredible on-site or off-site catering service with customizable menu options. Located just outside of Marathon on Highway 29 and just 10 minutes from downtown Wausau. left to play, Marathon with an eight point lead. Auburndale will have the ball coming out of the timeout. Trying to hunt down some scores for you. Trevor's gonna do his best to to get me some scores off of our network. Try to get you a score from the Bonduelle game. Columbus Catholic getting pushed by, by Royal. That's a good game right now. All these games getting a little bit late. Marathon with an eight point lead. Renfurter able to get the ball in. Rab gets at the shoal, 335 left. Possession's becoming critical for Auburndale. It's not super late yet, but here's a three for Weinfurter. Bottom! What a shot! That three cuts the lead to five. A little over three minutes left, a five point lead for the Red Raiders. Underwood drives to the rim, blocked but fouled. Going back to the line to shoot a pair is Tyler Underwood. They're gonna call that foul on, looks like Weinfurter. His second, Underwood to the line to shoot a pair. Six of six at the line tonight. Allman with a nine point lead, or 11 point lead over three legs. That one is getting pretty late. Columbus leads by two over Royal. Nina leads by eight at Spash. River Falls by one over Wassa East. Second free throw, no good. Weinfurter with the rebound. And Marshfield with a five point lead over Kakana, the Galloping Ghosts. Under three to play here. It's a six point marathon lead. Rab to try to cut it in half. Good! Three point game, 2.45 left to play. <laughs> Underwood thought about it. Coach Jacobson asking the team to be patient, break it down. Underwood almost had Aoi bite on the three. Dribble around him, couldn't do it. 2.20 left now. Here's Underwood. Underwood drives to the basket. Blocked by Weinfurter. No foul call. Underwood gets it back. 210 to play. Warren finds Underwood. Cut into the basket for two. Tyler has been incredible in the second half. 53-48. If you're a marathon, you feel like you need one, maybe two more defensive stops. Warren steals it from Aoi, who wasn't looking. 140 left, and now you gotta figure that Auburn Hill's gonna start trying to trap. 
Inside touch, Underwood for two! The lead is seven. Oh, a near steal by Huxama. <laughs> Coach Jacobson really wanted that one. Falls on Huxama, his second. Only the team's third. Nearly clean, nearly. Pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pet's everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. Aoi finds the cutter Scholl outside Rab. Another three. Good! Rab is keeping the Eagles into the game. Quick timeout by Auburndale. The lead is back to four, 116 left to play. More after this on Zaleski Sports. Bring the whole family out to Three Amigos Mexican Restaurant tonight and enjoy a menu filled with freshly made authentic Mexican options. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a great selection to keep you coming back again and again. Dine in for a fun Mexican restaurant experience or order for takeout or even delivery. There's Taco Tuesday, Friday Fish Fry, and a great lineup of cold drink options, and so much more. It's all under one roof at Marathon's favorite Mexican restaurant, Three Amigos on Maratec Avenue. Welcome back, Auburndale. Trying to figure out what they can do. A minute 16 left, they trail by four. Marathon will be inbounding it underneath their own basket. So expect some sort of full court pressure here. Try to speed up Marathon, maybe they'll make a mistake. Maybe you can get a turnover. Marathon is in the bonus, so any Auburndale foul will be free throws on the other end. Only 17 fouls, so we're gonna have a couple of rounds of bonus free throws. Near steal that time. Wolfold gets it across half court. There's a foul. On Weinfurter, his third. Wolfold to the line to shoot the bonus. He has not shot one tonight. He is an okay free throw shooter. Not the best on the team by any means, but a little over 60% on the year. Free throw is no good. Aoi with the rebound. Umberdale knew who to foul there. Scholl gets it to Rab. Now Scholl again, under a minute. Four point game. Weinfurter from the volleyball line, no good. Warren with the rebound. Man, think that Weinfurter could get a better shot than that. Thurs, fouled from behind by Scholl. Thurs is not a bad, not a bad person to foul either. Anybody besides Warren or Underwood and you're in good shape. Thurs to the line to shoot the bonus. He's 0 of 2 at the line tonight. This is the last single bonus trip for Marathon. Free throw is no good. Awi with another rebound. Marathon has left two front end bonus free throws on the floor. Rab for three. He got another one. Rab cuts the lead to one. Huxima gets it to Warren. Now Underwood have a timeout marathon. 26 seconds to play, Rab cuts the lead to one. Marathon helping Auburndale out by missing free throws. Timeout on the floor. We'll be back with more right after this. Looking for a new or different career path right here in Marathon? Look no further than AH Machine on Maratec Avenue in the Marathon Business District. Hiring for fabrication and more, this local company offers competitive pay and plenty of flexibility. AH Machine is locally owned and operated and is a proud supporter of the city of Marathon. Good luck to the Marathon High School athletes this season from AH Machine on Maratec Avenue in Marathon. Welcome back, 14 second half points by Blake Rabb has brought Auburndale back to the brink. They're down by one. Marathon will inbound the ball. 
underneath the Auburndale basket. Looks like Marathon wants the ball out towards half court. That's why Coach Jacobson called the timeout the way that he did when the ball was all the way out past the arc. So Marathon with the chance, they can throw it in the backcourt and they have 10 more seconds to get it across. Underwood has it. Auburndale's gonna have to fall. They don't wanna fall Tyler Underwood though. Wolfel is a good person to foul and Weinfurter gets him. That's the fourth on Caden Weinfurter. Wolfel to the line to shoot a pair. He's 0 for 1 today. It is double bonus. Always, always the season comes down to free throws. Wolfel missed the first. Three misses in a row by Marathon. 19 seconds to play. This is a big one. This makes it a two point game. Free throw is good. Wolfel makes the second. It's a two point game. Two timeouts left for Auburndale. Rab, he's been the hero of the second half. Coach Jacobson is pleading for his guys to foul. And they do. Two more fouls to give. That was on Thurs, his third. 13 seconds left, Auburndale trails by two. Rab and Weinfurter, three point threats. Here's Scholl, Scholl's fouled again by Thurs. Thurs has four fouls now. That's the fifth team foul. Eleven seconds left. Everybody, every single person in the gym is on their feet. Awi has it. Weinfurter. Weinfurter. Three for the lead over Warren. He missed it. Free throw. Free throws coming for Tyler Underwood. Let's see who that falls on. Looks like it's going to be on Awi, his third. Underwood to the line to shoot a pair. Marathon's best free throw shooter has a chance to put his team into the sectional final with two free throws. Big free throws, Underwood, the first one, no good. No matter what, Auburndale will get a chance to tie the game or win. A lot of pressure free throws right here. Underwood to make it a three point game. It's good. Time out, Auburndale, they will try to devise something. Marathon does have a foul to give. And Coach Jacobson's gonna tell his guys, we're just gonna keep it here, Trevor. Coach Jacobson is gonna tell his guys, we deal a foul to give, but don't foul the shooter. Don't give Auburndale the chance to make three free throws to put this game into overtime. Keep the ball in front of you, but if they inbound it into the back court, feel free to foul if it's on the run. Don't let guys pass you, but whatever you do, do not foul a three-point shooter. Columbus up by three, under five seconds left. That's a close one. Oh, it's tied, nice. Four seconds left, that game is tied, Columbus and Royal. The winner of that game has a really good chance of winning the Division Five State Championship. We mention it all the time, the sectional semifinal games, that's tonight's games, often the best games that you will see the entire tournament. Because it's the usually it's the top two ranked teams in each bracket in the same geographic location. We Good ones all over the dial. Long pass, Aoi gets it to Rab to tie at the buzzer. No good, Marathon wins. They go to the sectional final Saturday. Survive in advance. Great play call by Coach Weinfurter out of the timeout. Marathon looked ready for it. You throw it to the tallest guy in the team. Find Blake Rab, who has been the second half hero for the Eagles all night. Just couldn't get it to go. 
a little bit further out than what he probably wanted to shoot it. Marathon survives. 57, 54, a classic that people in Marathon will talk about for a long time. What a game. What a game. Stay tuned for our Merrill Steel postgame show. Consider moving your career to one of the largest growing fabrication companies in the upper Midwest and apply at MerrillSteel.com. More from the floor with Coach Jacobson and Tyler Underwood after this. Merrill Steel welcomes you as you join us in a virtual tour. Our main facility in Schofield, Wisconsin covers an area of roughly 46 acres and is home to our company headquarters. From this location, paired with our facilities in Comanche, Iowa and Springfield, Missouri, we are able to easily fulfill the needs of the industry nationwide. With nearly 1 million square feet of combined space between our three facilities, we are able to take on some of the biggest and most complex jobs, making us one of the top five steel fabricators in the country. We employ the best of the best welders, those who can weld efficiently with both metal core and flux core and who aren't afraid to work hard. We also offer on-the-job training so even beginner welders can learn the ropes and help us build it big. As a backup to our dedicated weld fab team, we have a robotic welder. Merrill Steel is the fourth in the U.S. to have gotten one, keeping us on the leading edge of technology. With the combination of both man and machine, no job is too big to handle, but they'd have no work on their hands without our machine operators. Where our fabrication process really begins is here. Our skilled machine ops team is responsible for bringing in the raw steel. Be it sawing, cutting, drilling, or punching, they make sure the steel is in the correct shape and size for our fab teams. As an addition to the machine ops team, we've recently purchased multiple Python X machines. These handy systems have given us increased productivity, unmatched cut quality, and predictable and consistent throughput. Moving away from fabrication, we come to our coating department. One of the unique benefits of working with Merrill Steel is our in-house blasting and painting capabilities. Many projects require a complex coating system, and that's where we shine above the competition. We regularly apply corrosion-resistant coating in-house, as well as intumescent fire protection when needed. We hold the endorsement for sophisticated paint and coating from AISC. This, along with our NACE certified inspectors, ensure a high-quality finish for every piece. The loading and staging process, sandwiched between the end of production and shipping, is an important step in the fabrication process. Within a moment's notice, we are able to handle and place an entire load onto a trailer for quick delivery to a job site. Finally, the last stage in our process is shipping. Our transit company, Merrill Steel Transit Services, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Merrill Steel Incorporated, consisting of more than 20 state-of-the-art trucks designed for transporting oversized and overweight shipments, along with hundreds of trailers ranging from 48-foot flatbeds to heavy hull Jeep and booster combinations. We employ only the most high highly skilled professional drivers, highly experienced mechanics, and knowledgeable office staff who work as a team to provide cost-effective service in a timely manner. Our shipping fleet is a major reason why we are able to be competitive throughout North America, including the contiguous 48 states, Alaska, and Canada. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit about us. We look forward to having you join us in building it big.
All right, Coach Jacobson, you knew it was going to be this, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so even on Monday, right away, we went boxing one. We gave them six guys, we figured Anderson would be the face guard, you know, and we just didn't, didn't uh, move the ball very well. And credit to them, they really clamped down and, you know, obviously had some really good looks that didn't go, but um, shot it with confidence. And, and then I thought in the second, well, you know, True took the lid off there at halftime, you know, gave us a little confidence and you see the ball go through the hole. And I thought, well, then we went to five man motion a little bit there in the second half. And I really thought we moved the ball then and we had some cutters and then Tyler made some nice plays, but absolutely, you know, Armadale is a tremendous program. You knew they were gonna have that and it was shot for shot there in the second half. I mean, that's must see high school basketball. Just two really good teams going at it. Rab wasn't gonna let them lose. Weinfurter wasn't gonna let them. I mean, they were just hitting shot after shot and our guys thankfully got one last stop. So it was, what a, what a, what a whale of a high school basketball game. It was a fantastic high school basketball game. And if you, you've won a lot of big games here at Marathon. Is this one towards the top? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, yeah, I mean, absolutely. In an environment like this, in a big game, you, you cherish every one with the guys you're with, you know. And yeah, I mean, you're, you're in the moment now. You're, you know, and you're just thankful to advance. You know, that's, I mean, and uh, just proud of the guys that we get to go to practice tomorrow. Yeah, they get to practice. They don't have to practice, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> um, so, tell me what preparation is, knowing the history that you have with Coach Weinfurter and a really good Auburndale team who you handled the first two times, but you knew that he was going to give you something different tonight. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And, uh, you know, we've had, I think this is the seventh time we've met in the playoffs in the last dozen or so years. And absolutely, you know, and we, we and I, it's not coach speak. It's just we talked about all the like, What happened before doesn't matter. It's 36 minutes on Thursday. That can be coach speak, but that's the truth. And you saw it. I mean, everything else is irrelevant. Seniors don't want to go home. Right, it's the last. You're, you're trying to advance, so you throw everything out the window. I mean, and it's just body blow after body blow, possession after possession, and you know, it's the same thing last year. You know, and it's been, you know, and just thankful to advance. Feel like you uh, got rid of some demons a little bit here. The last couple of years, Marathon South teams have knocked you out, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, Stratford or uh, Auburndale knocked us out in this game last year. Stratford in the regional final the year before, you know, and that's. You know, and the, the, kind of a nice thing about Saturday is we get to play somebody different, right? I mean, you have the you have the regular season, then you have the conference, you know, and to get through each other, and it's just such a good league. I mean, that's a talk about oh, playing a thir team a third time. It's tough to beat a 22 team, 20, yep. 22 win team once, right? Yep. And that's all credit to them. That's all credit to Stratford. That's all credit to Edgar Newman. Your years past, it's just wonderful basketball that hopefully can prepare us for Saturday. So how how late is your night going to be watching Bonduel film? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, and uh, into tomorrow. And but you wouldn't want it any other way, yeah. right? I mean, it's it's a privilege to be able to, you know, people had talked about that earlier in the year. Well, what do you think of Bonduel? But did, did, they, did they win? Yeah. Okay. What do you, you know? It's a, I'd love to worry about it. You know, <laughs> love the opportunity to worry about it. And thankfully, we have that opportunity. Right. Congratulations, Coach. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler Underwood, was that your best game of your career? It's definitely up there. <laughs> it was a great game. I mean, it wasn't just me, though. I mean, my teammates, they found me. A lot of the time, it was just my teammates finding me, like, in the middle. I get a jump shot. And with Grant being face guarded, it just opens stuff up for the rest of the team. So first half, cold shooting by pretty much the whole team. Uh, the first made three was from the white linebacker going the other way. What was the feeling going into the locker room after True hit that one? Well, our coach, Claude Cyber, he's been with us for a long time. He said, you know, everyone needs a break. <laughs> everyone needs to catch a break before they can get to the big dance, is what he said. <laughs> it's true. So you go to the free throw line, you're up by two, and there's a couple seconds left. What are you thinking? I'm just like, I want to sink these and just end the game. It was too bad I missed the first one, 
I mean, it was in and out. It felt good on my hand, but it happens. Made the second. But the most important part was defense afterward. We had to get a stop. Otherwise, they were taking us into overtime. So what did Coach say coming out of that timeout? Because you guys had a foul to give, right? Yeah, we did. He said, just make it a negative pass. Be aggressive, but like, don't foul at the wrong time. So don't foul while he's shooting. We didn't want to foul him while he's shooting. And there's not a lot of time on the clock. So if we're just aggressive and we don't let him get a good look, then that's pretty much all we needed to do. So for the first time in your career, you are playing to go to state on Saturday. What would it mean to you and your fellow seniors to get a win Saturday? It would mean the world. I mean, this is our last dance. We've all played for on a varsity squad for like three years. And going back to like that 2018 team, all of us were there watching them, sectional final and at state. And we're like, man, it would be such a dream come true to be in that position. So the fact that we can be like in the position that those guys were kind of gives you butterflies. I mean, it's crazy. Yep. You don't have to practice tomorrow. You get to practice tomorrow, right? Good luck on Saturday, 31 points tonight. I know, crazy, right? 31, you'll go back and you'll watch it for the rest of your life, right? You'll, you'll have kids and grandkids and you'll be pulling up YouTube or whatever it is then. Like, I scored 31 at sectionals. Um, congratulations to you and the rest of the guys. You're the player of the game. I'm Tyler Underwood and I'm in the house. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. Thank Very you much. For your yeah. All right, that is going to be it for Merrill High School. The Marathon Red Raiders will play to go to state Saturday, 2 o'clock at D.C. Everest. They'll take on the Bonduel Bears. We'll be there. For all of us at Zaleski Sports, Dan Ross, Trevor Zaleski, Dan Lau, have a fantastic night.